I'm going to perform some performance testing on this Adamo XPS compared to an older laptop that is an IBM ThinkPad. On this new Adamo, as I showed you before in a previous video, it's considered the thinnest laptop in the world. No, compared to my iPhone, it's actually even thinner than the iPhone. But let me just show you some general specs in terms of um, what I'm running here. So what I'm doing is I'm running a dual screen. So um, this this is my you know laptop screen, but I can also move it to this bigger screen. So in this case, this computer is running. Um, you know the it has four gigs of of RAM and it. It's running the uh, Windows 7 64 bit and uh, it, it has quite a bit of, it's running at 1.4 gigahertz, uh, the CPU with dual core. As you can see here in the performance, it, it shows the two, um, I'm actually currently running some applications now, so it, you can see it's already um, showing some activity. On my this laptop, I'm also running a dual screen in that this is the laptop screen and this is another monitor that shows and currently there's nothing running as you can see it's pretty plain now this um, machine is a little bit uh, older but I just want to show you the difference in this case it's running um, let's see if I can focus a little bit it's running Windows XP uh, Service Pack 2 and 1.8 uh, gigahertz with um, just one gigabit byte of RAM. So it's a smaller machine, but it'll be good to compare the very old machine with you know a new one to see how it goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, install PQ, which is a utility to measure performance of SAS. So I'm gonna run the base module here and then I'm gonna click on OK and it's gonna kick off uh, several SAS sessions that you can see down here. As you can see down here, it's you know running these SAS sessions. I'll do the same over here on the uh, Adamo machine. I'll go ahead and start the install PQ that it executes. Um, I, I'll have the same setting running the SAS base module, and it, as you can see down here, this is how it kicks off the separate uh, SAS sessions. Now what it does is it runs one SAS session and then it runs three at the same time and it runs five at the same time just to see how it handles the multi-threading. In a similar way it's running the one thread here and later on it's going to run uh, as you can see it just started down here it runs one, two, and uh, actually, it, it, I think it, will, it runs two sessions before it does the three and five. So currently it's running two at the same time. In a similar way, it's running two in the Windows 7. It shows it as, uh, you know, down here. And so it takes a while to run. It looks like it completed. It takes about maybe 10 minutes for this uh, battery of tests. And uh, I'll come back with the results. Okay, it looks like the test completed. Um, to be fair, it's not a complete scientific, uh, one, uh, exactly the same comparison because I'm running several applications here. As you can see on the Windows machine, I'm running my email, I'm running a calendar, several Word documents, and also um, you know a media player as well. This is the one that's taking all the activity and just playing the music that's in the background. As you can see, even when nothing's running, there's a lot of activity. Whereas on this machine, um, I am running SAS, and it just completed um, the benchmark. And as you can see, the activity just went down from a lot of activity down to nothing because there's nothing running. But the elapsed time, if you look closely here, let's see if I can focus in a little bit. Okay, uh, let me focus in. It's, it looks like it's, you know, the one thread took 48 seconds and the one thread on this machine took 23 seconds. It's much faster. And if you look down at this report, it gives you a little bit more details 
of when it runs the two sessions simultaneously. The two sessions were about 28 and 30 seconds versus the two sessions of SAS simultaneously here, multi-threading, uh, it, it takes 59 seconds, almost, you know, 60 seconds, almost twice as long. So there are some nice graphs as well. Uh, if you prefer a graph, this one shows the 30 seconds graph of the two sessions. And on this one, it shows the, um, you know, close to 60 seconds here, twice as long. So I'll scroll down to the bottom where it's actually, it also runs the three simultaneous threads at 37. But what I'm interested in is how long it takes to run the six, the five simultaneous threads. In this case, the five threads takes about um, a minute and two or three, or a minute and five seconds about on the um, Adama machine. And on the ThinkPad, on the five threaded sessions, I'll scroll down here, it took um, two minutes and ten seconds. So again, that's like twice as long. So the score, we actually have a metric score, is really not as good. Uh, the bigger the number is, the slower it is. It's 2.4, whereas uh, this one is 1.2 uh, on an average, I guess. So um, there's also a percentage as to how long it took in comparison. So you can look at all the graphs as well. But for the five sessions, it took about 274% as compared to the one session, whereas the um, the benchmark of this one, it took, uh, it's in general twice as slow, but uh, it's still multi-threaded pretty well. It's about the same in terms of taking, you know, close to about two and a half times as long. So in terms of speed, it scales up pretty well, but it is twice as slow uh, with the exact same type of processing between the two laptops.